Welcome back, everybody. Welcome if you are new. Today, we're in the fixed super late models here at Fairberry once again. This track is not nice to me, but I want to try to learn it as much as possible. But we're running the fixed race. We got Gavin out here. We got Lindy. We got Christopher Joy out here. Squilliam. We got Aiden out here. So a bunch of people we know. A bunch of people we've raced with before. So we're car number four, which is a lot of uh, pressure on us to do well. But I probably won't do well here just because this is a very tough track for me. I'm not very good at this track and it feels like I have no force feedback right now so that's great for qualifying I'll fix that when we go into the race hopefully but it's just straight bottom right now I feel like I missed that I'm gonna set up for it again in three and four try and get a little bit of a run into it and as I screw up the run in did not stay low enough once again but we have to go with it Try and get a straight run off. Three. I'll take that, I guess. Not awful, but I was hoping for like a two or a one at that point. Because uh, track got a little better slash worse in a way from practice. It wasn't great. It wasn't terrible. But I was hoping to at least hit around our practice time again. But I feel like I have Norris Force Force feedback in the wheel. I'll have to fix that real quick before we go into the race. But looks like we'll be starting mid-pack. We out-qualified Gavin, shockingly. I'm kind of shocked with that. Oh, he hit the wall lap one, it looks like. So that's a little unfortunate for him. But uh, it's going to be a rough one. I think this is going to be like kind of a wreck fest of a race. We'll see. So uh, good luck to everybody in this. All right, well, we stayed no back head. here in ninth place, so we are mid-pack right now. It's a pretty full field. I didn't pay attention to how many people were actually in it. We have 18. I think that's a, literally a full field. So, very, very tough race here. I didn't pay attention to what the strength field was, but we're the car four, so it's not super high, but it's still a pretty strong field overall. A lot of people that are quick. I really suck at this place. Hey, Dylan. So, we'll see how this hey, goes. Man. Hopefully uh, we don't die early with Gavin because wow, Gavin is a little bit behind us on the top side. Good. But Good. the bottom is definitely going to be quick to start with, it seems. But it's probably going to move to the top for sure. That's how this track normally goes. But a lot of wrecks probably going to happen. I would not be shocked. I don't have a great feeling about this race. So we'll see what happens. Green, green, green. Open just to stick all the way to the inside tires. I don't think the nine car expected us to actually be under him there. Because I just slowed all the way up and ran as low outside. as possible there. Because I did not want to slide up on the anybody. So we already have a 2x. That's fine. Though. I'm not worried about safety. We have like well into the fours on safety. My exit off turn four is not good at all being a little higher. That was a little too much throttle. Need to slide up a little bit like that off the exit of turn four, I feel. But I need to get more down to the bottom like I did on that first lap, because that first lap was really nice. So let's go listen to everybody yell at each other here at Fairbury now. If anybody's actually going to talk anymore. I don't want to burn up my tires too by going high too early, but I don't know if tire wear is going to matter at this track as much. I think it matters more at the bigger tracks, honestly. People are starting to get some runs on the top I could see behind me. I think uh, I need to go to the top now. Yeah, I think it's starting to transition from the looks of it. And I suck at running the top here, so I'm trying to learn. Trying to get as close to the top as possible, if not back the right rear into the wall slightly. But I hate doing that because I feel like I'm just going to destroy my right front on the wall. Or like hit it at the wrong spot and do that, what he just did right there. And he's going straight back down to the bottom, which I don't blame him because he hit that wall on the front stretch hard as hell. But he's actually trying back up here again. No way, bro. Holy crap. So there's a wreck, it sounds like, from the 11 maybe? I don't know. So... We're back in ninth, so we oh, didn't wow. gain or lose any position Evolution from all of that. So, game. and uh, <laughs> somebody lost a tire up here. Looks like that one. And he did it on it though. So, that's rough. Uh, made it to lap ten though, longer than I expected. Eddie, all right, being on the bottom for this restart, not ideal, honestly. But I think people Whoa. are just going to be ripping the top now and potentially slow each other up by hitting the wall. So, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna try to rip right along the bottom like we did in the very beginning, and see how it goes. 
Hopefully it goes okay. I'm gonna try and get right down by these tires, Probably which I missed a little bit. Don't come up so high, you're not here. The 11 trying to chop the nose off there. I was not expecting him to run that low. 13.094. Pretty sure we're like two, three wide right now. Probably too wide, I think. But bottom is definitely not the way at this moment. I'm gonna try and move up here for the back stretch. Lindy's now gotten by us because he restarted on that outside, I'm pretty sure. And everybody on the outside now is just flying. The only way to pass is gonna be like running into somebody or somebody else screwing way up, which will probably happen both to us, honestly. That guy's trying to squeeze up in line that might check up some people. Lindy's gonna go low on him. A couple guys have left. Trying to avoid the wall the best as possible. Fell back to 11th it looks like, so we went from 9th to 11th there off the restart just being on the bottom. All, all over the wall there on the back stretch. That's my problem at this track, I cannot stay off the walls on the straightaway. Oh, or in the corner apparently. I went up way too high in a turn one. I'm all sorts of sideways. And not fast here, but at least we're ahead of Gavin right now. He beat us in the uh, open pretty well. But we were very slow in the open too. This track is just tough for me. All together, like running bottom, running top, it is a handful. Because you got to be able to ride it right along that wall without screwing up and keeping as much speed as possible. And I am bad at all that. <laughs> I smack the wall, I slow myself down. The middle lane honestly might work if you can run it good enough. I'm gonna see if we can, but we're getting hit by the 18 car in the rear. Nice job. Because he was probably running like a slider line or something like that it seems like. Trying to see if we can run this middle line and have some speed. I started running like 12 nines, 13s up top, and I was just screwing up way too much. I know I can run like eights or sevens in the middle if we run it good enough, but there's just not enough grip built up here, I feel like. Because in the practice before this, it got a really slicked off track. Like, it started off pretty fresh, but it got pretty slicked off, kind of like this track. So I was hoping the um, middle would be all right. Because it got good at the in the practice later on. I'm holding my own with Lindy on my outside. I just gotta not slide up into him or anything. Oh, somebody is up in the wall up there. That might cause a caution. Oh yeah, it's gonna cause a caution. Oh, Lindy's gonna be ahead of us though because of it. Dang it. Unfortunate. All right, we're on the outside for this one. I thought that was a lead lap car that wrecked, but I guess it was the, the same guy that broke his right front earlier maybe. Everybody's wall riding. Yeah, We're that's, that's the, 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 that's the tough watching. part of this Stop. track, wall is uh, everybody's up on the wall, so it's hard to make well, a yeah, ground no, and everything. Uh -oh. Had an okay start. We're ahead of Lindy. Oh, he's coming right up in the way. I was not expecting him to try to make that happen. That was dumb. Because, like, it was way too tight for that. Oh, jeez, Lindy. I don't think you expect us to be, like, three wide there. And Lindy's getting right rear on the bottom by Gavin. Oh, that's hilarious. Gavin's come out of nowhere. Clear, clear, clear. He took a big advantage of uh, everybody getting checked up and stuff. Because, yeah, I don't think Lindy thought we were going to be three wide at all. He probably thought I was going out to the wall, but it was nothing like that. It was... Really, really tight racing right there. So where do we fall back to? I think we're still in tenth Sorry, after that. So coming up on you there. It was just tight racing. One to go. All right, last double file yeah, restart because we're gonna be at ten laps to go when we take the green. So everything else will be single file from here on out. But we've gotten a lot more green racing than I expected. Honestly, I thought it would be just a bunch of quick cautions. Only, that was the quickest caution so far. First one went like ten laps. That the second one went like sixteen. That one only went like four. Twenty minutes to go. But we'll see. If it happens quickly again or not. 
Trying to roll middle the best we can. Oh, they are so tight down here. Oh, Lindy. That was close. That was crazy. I cannot believe we made it by that. They all got stacked up on the bottom, and Lindy was getting hooked right on the exit of that corner. I thought we were dead for sure. That was terrifying. Try not run him over. He sounds like he's just spitting his tires there down the straightaway. I was way too sideways there. Yeah, tire wear I don't think matters too much here at this track. Oh, Lindy left. That's unfortunate. He must have, like, got really damaged from that incident that happened with him and Gavin. I think we barely scraped by. It was super tight. This guy keeps sliding up a little bit more than I'm expecting. I'm not... I'm trying to stay, like, middle for the most part. But he's, like, sliding all the way outside on the straight and stuff. I swear, he's probably mirror driving the hell out of it. But it's really screwing me over. 16 is all over the place. And there's a car on your inside, bud. There is nowhere for me to go there. William's falling back how far. He's the three car down there. He's the one that started on pole and everything. Need to get back to the middle, though. That's where I feel more comfortable for sure than the bottom or top right now. You can just see everybody smacking the wall in the mirror and in front of us. If they are up top. Let's see if we can get by the 18 car here. We're in this middle. Way too sideways in one and two. I feel like I'm much better in three and Bro. four. And we get a caution. We're gonna have a one lap shootout here. It's about to get pri it's probably about to get really wild. Out, no, I you can't get right. All right, one to green. Single file, one lap shootout. People are going to be throwing bombs into the corners, I imagine. So I'm just hoping we can miss the wrecks because there's not going to be a caution for them. So I'm just hoping we don't get caught up in anything. We'll see how we do here on the final lap. Just please don't get caught up in anything. This guy needs to go so we don't get a black. A little bit of grip in that slick area. Guy behind is just tearing down the wall, it looks like, because I heard him Literally. just smash it. Good one. I think we got 10th out of that. Yeah, we held the 10th place on him. Okay. That was a ridiculous race. I knew I struck. Oh, we got 11th out of that. Yeah, Damn. He barely beat us the line, apparently. He, I definitely, he, we tied. And he gets the position, apparently. That's crazy. I definitely saw his spoiler in my mirror. So I'm shocked by that, because where is the start finish line? Right there, maybe? I don't know. I'm assuming it's like right there. I cannot click a button to save my life. Yeah, we were definitely ahead at the line, so I don't know what iRacing is saying. So, oh well, it says we tied. So apparently right there is the start finish line. <laughs> Way after the start finish. I don't know. That's wild, but there was a lot of cautions in this one. And I struggle at this track all the time. I've been trying to get better by doing some more some practice in the open and in the fixed here. Been doing multiple races this week and it is just tough for me very very hard track the small boring tracks are just not my thing and right there yeah right off the start we doored the uh nine because i don't think he expected us to run along the tires honestly and he was trying to like diamond it some like he was super sideways there almost got into the one car so he like hit the brakes and was coming back down a little bit and i was trying to roll right as inside as possible i don't think he expected me to be there at all <laughs> there's a huge bump into turn three it's crazy that's a little bit of netco between them. This guy's running last, gonna nail the wall. This is the one that ended up tying with us here at the end of the race. <laughs> That's hilarious. 56, getting the wall a little bit. The 16 was involved in a ton of wrecks in this thing. He's just throwing it in super sideways, like just keeping the gas up, it looks like. So his tires are probably dead at the end of that. Speaking of tires, what was ours? 80 at the very end. So tire wear is like, like I said, not a big deal. 157 got in the back of Gavin there pretty hard. Didn't spin them around somehow. The 10 car in the wall, the one car in the wall, 56 in the wall. I just want to see more, more damage that happens. Eight car behind us into the wall. 14, are they going to smash with another car? Kind of, after he bounces off the wall. It all involves the wall, basically. One car up there in the wall, 56 by himself. Oh, nine cars, super sideways on the exit. And that definitely caused the first caution. 
He was way too sideways on the exit there because he probably tapped the wall and then gassed it up and then was loose and got down to the 14, destroyed the 157. There was nowhere he could go, so that was unfortunate for him. Pace truck, 14 car, restart. They're three wide up there for the lead. One car in the wall, just trying to wall ride it, get by people. That's what you have to do at this track, though, and I'm terrible at that stuff. Hits the wall on the back stretch. Squilliam here, all in the wall on the straightaway, tapping it in the corner and everything, just like everybody else is doing. 10 car, he, this is where I think I finally got up to the top, was in front of him later on. Because that's when the top definitely was coming in for sure. Because uh, it doesn't take long at this track, and then it kind of stays there for the most part. You can make that middle work, I feel like, once the top gets a little too slicked off. And we were doing it there before the last caution. I think we could have finished ninth if that caution didn't come out. That caution really hurt me. He slammed the wall there on the front stretch. Maybe he started falling back because of all the damage on his car, because I know he was running the bottom later on. So he went from, like, the pole to wherever Squilliam finished. I'm not even sure. He finished back in seventh, so yeah, he, he was struggling probably with damage maybe on the car. That's all I could assume. 10 car on the front stretch hard. 10 car into three and four hard. Or that, that's one and two actually, my bad. Everybody's just hitting the wall. What was the cautions for? That's all I want to know. I started trying to run the bottom here and this is where I got slid into by the 18 a little bit. I might've been cutting down a little bit, but I didn't expect somebody from that far back to be sliding up. Yeah, like he, cause he went in low and was sliding way up the track, like just under the top line. I don't think he expected me to be there at all. I'm assuming. It is what it is. No harm, no foul between us. 16 car super sideways. 117. Yeah, the 16 was doing that to multiple people. I think he did that to me too, uh, where he's like, I'm going to go inside, even though there's somebody on your inside. You can't just drive through them. This ain't uh, an AI race or something. Slider. Trying to cut down on them. They tap a little bit on the back stretch. But yeah, the 16 was all over the place. I know he ended up as like the, the final wreck too. And that is probably why he lost his right front there on lap 25. So that caused the number two wreck. And I know he caused the very final one because he said his like wheel was upside down. And he was clicking the gears or something, which you only have one gear anyways. You're already in first gear. Yeah. Oh, this was already like during uh, that caution. Never mind. Wrong thing I'm thinking of. Lindy. Oh, yeah. The eight car is super sideways there. I remember seeing that a little bit on the restart. He like took that jump off a of turn four, too. Yeah, and he slid up right in front of us super tight. I had to like slam the brakes, try to get down. A lot of car hitting there because I uh, did not expect him to try to fit in that small space. And I could have just ran him over and, and uh, spun him out. And that would have been a mess behind me. But luckily, we didn't do that. And here's a 16 car again. Uh, just going to hit off the 10, hold the left and uh, go down the track into him. Yeah, that's smart. And this guy is just sitting on the track. Oh, this is uh, the guy that tied with us. He was uh, sitting there for a while and then finally getting out of the way to have that caution before he goes a lap down. I feel like they should go a lap down still at that point. Next restart where we had like a 10 lap run here just to the very finish. 18 car in the wall. Gavin and Lindy tight at the bottom and then the 117 and 5 got together and really screwed everything up. This is where we barely got by. That was as tight as it could be, I feel like. Like, that was super close. I can't even get on me. But he started getting right hooked. I'm like, oh, I need to get up out of the way. And then we tapped the wall a little bit. But I don't know how we missed that one. That was so close. It was terrifying. I thought we were going to be dead for sure. Luckily, they get separated apart just in time. Because that was the most terrifying thing ever. That was so scary. 117 right and right along that bottom. Probably tapped the uh, tire a little bit and then got in the squilliam. I don't think Squilliam expected him to get there at all because he got some sort of weird launch off that bottom. That's crazy. I don't know how he's getting that launch because he's getting like up in the air on the exit like bump, which is nuts. I don't know how he's getting that run. But really just tight racing everywhere. That's all you can, really can do at this track. 28 smashing the wall. In the corner, 16 car. I know he ended up as the final uh, caution. He's just fully on throttle, super sideways, gets the tire, and then he's sitting here and then brings out the caution because he starts like reversing on the track or something, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, he goes a lap down, there was no caution because we went a whole lap. And then now he puts it in reverse, turns the wheel, coming up the track and just sitting there still reversing and then brings out the caution with one lap left. So that's quite unfortunate we get that caution for sure.
Because that lost us a spot. Actually, it probably lost us two spots. Because I feel like, oh, Squilliam might have gotten a black flag for that, honestly. Did he? I'm shocked he didn't, honestly. Because uh, he passed before the the green the start finish line, which usually on dirt that's a no no at any point. And Gavin was just really struggling back here. And this one, he had so much damage on his car. It looks like from the front end. But crazy race, really tight racing. And uh, we finished back in 11th. Probably going to lose a bunch of I rating again, but it is what it is. Fairbury is not my track, so you'll go back and forth with these kind of races in the season. So let's go see what we end up getting out of the results. All right, we've just been donating uh, safety rating and I rating this whole week. It's been rough. Losing 41 more uh, down to 4,800. We were so close to 5,000 at the start of the season. I was like 50 away or less than. It's been rough, but Christopher Joy wins it. Good on him. He's been, he's always really quick and uh, cool to race with him. I don't race with him very much, so I know I always know he's fast, but I just haven't raced against him much. So cool to see him out there and him win it. Uh, Aiden out here getting third. He ran uh, from eighth up to third very fast. William had a bunch of damage and... Uh, that was unfortunate for him. I think that's why he fell some. And then uh, Lindy left. I didn't quite see why he leave, left. It might have just been from what happened with uh, him and Gavin almost getting up into me. And then he might have just pulled in and left after that. I'm not sure. But Gavin and I both struggling at Fairbury once again. We did in the opens and now we did in the uh, fixed races. So it was a been a struggle for us all week uh, on the dirt side. Besides SRX. SRX was fun. I got spun there in the recording on Monday, but I ran it again, led all 50 laps and won it on a, uh, it was a random race. I think it was Daytona dad's race. If you know who that is, look up his name on YouTube. And I know he ran that and recorded his a point of view of that race. He had a solid finish. He started towards the back and then ran his way up towards a, a good solid finish all close to a top five, I'll say. So, and he's not much of a dirt guy. So cool to see him have a good run. I was happy for him on that, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this race. Nonetheless, it was a, uh, a ping pong around everywhere it seemed like and in every position running the bottom getting hit or like people coming down sliding up into people it just happens and then running the top just bouncing off the wall just you're banging around everywhere so nowhere to really uh go and stuff for it and luckily we dodged pretty much all the wrecks so that was nice i was happy about that we still ended up with a 4x but it is what it is have plenty of safety i'm not worried about it so hopefully you guys enjoyed appreciate you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one